Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Lula Black and of course this is Foxy at 50. Thank you so much for watching. And today I have another wonderful belly dance move for you. We're staying with the hip drops, but we're just making it slightly more interesting of course. And again, this is an amazing exercise to keep the hips flexible, which is so important as we age. Now, if you haven't already seen or had a go at the um, hip drops, the basic hip drops, which is number two in this belly dancing series, then do watch that first because it's important to do the basics before moving on to this variation that I'm going to do now. I'll still go over that basic one in this video. And also do check out the very first video, which really goes into explaining what isolation is, what makes belly dancing so unique and why that's so important. If you don't incorporate isolation, you're not doing it. And, um, and even if belly dancing is not your thing, it's going to show you how to have control over whatever dancing you're doing. It's going to make everything so much better. And then, as I say, the benefits of what it's doing for your body are enormous. Uh, but you have to isolate. If you don't isolate, then nothing's really happening. So, um, so check out those videos first. All right, so let's begin. So if we just remind ourselves first of the hip drop that we did last time, we've just got a basic hip drop, okay? But what you have to remember is the heel must stay up. The only thing that can drop is your hip. Your shoulder will try to drop, your head will try to drop, your rib cage will try to drop, and that's a disaster. Because then you end up doing this. And of course that's not the same thing as this. And when you do this, you can see, you can feel the stretch of what it's doing for your waistline and what it's doing for the dance. That's what makes it unique. So don't drop the heel, don't drop the rib cage. They will all try to drop. Um, so you have to bring present moment awareness into it. You have to really think of it. Uh, use mindfulness, feel your heel, Feel your ribcage, keep going over them in your mind because they will try to drop. So um, you've got to be very vigilant until muscle memory kicks in and then you do it without thinking. Okay, so today's variation is an arch hip drop. So we get And the easiest way to describe it is, let's say, this is where I start with my hip drop. I've got a line where I've got three positions. Position one, position two, where I dropped it, position three. And we're going to lift up, push forward, and drop. Lift up, push back. This will be the tricky one. Don't lose your isolation and drop, okay? So it then becomes an arch. So you're dropping at positions one and three and just skipping over position number two. You'll it'll really try to force your rib cage and everything to come down when you do the back one. Just relax your bottom and just, you can even practice just doing a few behind like that on their own. One, two, one, two. Very important that you do the basic hip drops first. This is a stretch. This is not a stretch. This is incorrect. One, see the difference. You've got to isolate. Let's do a few on the other side. Tummy in, rib cage up, heel up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Okay, get the idea? So practice those. Uh, what I'll do now is go over the basic hip drop and uh, let's do three sets of 10 on each side so we can really get practicing them. And then followed by three sets of 10 of our arch on each side. Remember your left side will be much stiffer if you're right-handed, vice versa if you're left-handed, okay? So, with the basic hip drops, as I say, it's one, two, three, we're just going up and down in position two, but you have to be vigilant and stop everything else from dropping. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll face this way as well. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Left side, remember, it's going to be stiffer for most people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. What's your heel doing? What's your rib cage doing? One, two, three, four. Last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now let's do our arch. So remember, just think of it like an arch. Positions one and positions three. Three sets of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lift up for the last one on the right. Rib cage up, tummy in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't try to drop too far either. Stay with the isolation. So if that means you can only drop a tiny bit or you can only stretch a tiny bit, that's fine because it's correct. It will stretch more and more as you go on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And the last one, tummy and rib cage up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. And maybe we could just do a little variation. When we keep that heel up and do a little variation of both of them. So we might go starting off with our basics. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's try on the other side. Lift up. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ignore my arms, they just sort of go into basic belly dance mode. Lost count now. Anyway, you get the idea. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, don't expect your hips to be able to drop like mine. Don't lose your isolation in order to try to drop them further because then they never stretch. 
Think of it like trying to touch your toes. You might not have been able to touch your toes in years, but if you just kept practicing a tiny little bit each day, a few days, end of the week, you'd be able to touch your toes. But if you kept bending your knees in order to touch your toes, obviously it's never going to happen. So this is the same thing. The heel has to stay up. The rib cage has to stay up. See how tall that is. But if you do that, look what happens. And that's isolation, okay? Just doing the one thing at a time, separating it from the rest of your body, having control over your own body. So that's it for today. And remember, belly dancing isn't just a fun, fabulous dance. It's an extremely beneficial way to loosen up really tight hips. Uh, also back pain, it's great for back pain, for your joints, for your muscles, um, and it's for every and any age, so why not give it a go? Do share it with anybody who you think might enjoy it or who's been curious about belly dancing. Although I taught um, really advanced students, I also taught beginners and I love teaching beginners. It's uh, my absolute favourite. So um, I'm starting these videos right from the very beginning. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And um, if you want notifications of when the next video comes out, just ring the little bell. Um, so until the next time, I'm Lula Black. This is Foxy at 50. Stay safe, happy, healthy, and well. Bye-bye.